Hello. I'm hoping that he doesn't watch this from his cell phone or the other inmates watch it because they all love your program with their 100 cell phones that they all have. Vibes Cartel back in the news. Having been placed under 23 hour lockdown, his lawyer says, sometime in May. They said that he was either in possession of a cell phone or some something in relation to cell phones being found on his block. His block is here at the grim colonial era general penitentiary in downtown Kingston, where Cartel has been held for the most part since his murder conviction in 2011. The ramping shop DJ's apparent access to cell phones whilst in prison, long a source of consternation and embarrassment to the authorities. How else to explain Cartel's seeming ability to drop new music from behind bars. You can't hold me up on the corner. You have to catch me in a house like Tony Montana. But the final straw, perhaps, the latest in a series of Fox 5 reports highlighting prison conditions and Cartel's medical status. He has what is known as Graves' disease. It's a thyroid condition and he has been managing as best with this condition with the help of his private physician. Private meaning he pays for it, it's not the government that pays for it. Symptoms of which are what? Symptoms, protruding of the eyes, um, swelling of the thyroid, so your neck would be swollen. Um, he has developed um, what is being known as a mild heart condition, so changes in that and his respiratory system can be attacked as a result. Cartel says Buchanan did become sick during lockdown. The minute they had him on the lockdown, he developed an infection that he was immediately treated for with um, a powerful antibiotic. So continues his lawyer, unconscionable to keep Cartel in solitary confinement. So much so that Nelson Mandela formed what is known as the Mandela Rules. And it specifically states that that is to be reserved for the most egregious violations in the prison system. So describe those physical conditions. The cell that he's in, it doesn't have a toilet. It doesn't have a shower. It is just a concrete cell with vents at the top. It's a brick oven. And that brick oven, when you speak of, you can think of how hot Jamaica is right now. Most of us, we can't survive without fan and AC. Well, he's in that cell for 23 hours with a medical condition. So he would have to use a bucket and he would have to wash in that cell. He would have to do what he's doing with the 23 hours. If he uses the bathroom, he's stuck with the, his excrements, if those are the words, until um, he, at the discretion of the DCS, to release him to remove that. Okay, Isaac, this is hypothetical. Yes. Cartel drops some cash, gets a phone on which he cuts some tunes, and checks in with the folks at, at Fox. It's happened before, so the authorities are ticked off. How should they respond when he does it again? Well, there is the response was to put him in a $55 million cell, um, as said by the National Security Minister. What I can say is hypothetical. Cartel gets a phone, does an interview, an excellent one I might add, um, airs on international media, he puts out a couple of tunes and stuff like that, but the phone, no one, no inmate in our lockdowns can say, Superintendent A, I soon come back. I'm going, and this is a plug, to Flow or Digicel to buy a phone and some credit to conduct my communication business. The issue that is to be resolved is how the phone gets there. And I want to make this emphatically clear. I care zero about cell phones in prison. And here's why. The government has a duty to ensure that family life is respected a constitutional right when you lock up a man or a woman his son his brothers sisters mothers fathers are also incarcerated that family life is what you must protect by having phones on the wall that you can record um, conversations that you can allow communication in the absence of that this will be the result, and Cartel is not the first and last inmate that will have a cell phone. Isaac Buchanan had filed an injunction asking that the Department of Correctional Services be restrained from placing Cartel in solitary confinement. 
The parties were in court Monday, June 12, when Buchanan says he was told for the first time that Cartel was no longer in lockdown. Both sides set to return to court on June 26. I obtained a sworn medical affidavit where his private doctor notified authorities that his Graves disease and heart condition are getting worse. Those Fox interviews, did they benefit Cartel or did they put him in a difficult position vis-a-vis -vis the prison authorities? These things are a nine-day wonder. The minute that interview came out, if you're not keep mentioning it, people have forgotten about it. So perhaps those in power need to treat nine-day wonders as nine-day wonders and continue running their institutions and doing what they're doing to improve even inmate life. If you were to speak to Cartel, would you say, go ahead and do that for an interview if you have the opportunity or not? I what would your advice to My him be? advice would be absolutely to leave all of that alone. If you understand I'm for something, you are going to fall for nothing. Made it feel sad, yes. It Expect to lose many of the privileges of freedom in a penal institution. That's the point of punishment, isn't it? Basic human rights, however, another matter entirely. Or are they? If you have contraband, you are to be punished. There's no issue about that. What you cannot do is what the Correction Act says, is that punishment, solitary confinement is what I am addressing, is a cruel and unusual punishment that mustn't be prolonged beyond 15 days. If an inmate has a medical condition, you must get permission from the medical staff to say, can this inmate sustain the physical constraints? of being in 23-hour lockdown. Is Mr. Palmer one that can sustain it? His medical doctor has said no. Looking at me, I know. Now I got this, you baby. Why? I'm out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cartel, for some people, is the never-ending star. Cartel will continue to shine. Some people look at Cartel as a convicted murderer who gets away with doing Fox interviews in prison and making music in prison. And it's almost as though, yes, he's doing his time, but all of these other things are happening and the rules that apply to some people don't apply to Cartel and because of his superstar status. I'm very happy. You see both points of view. I, I, I'm happy that you say that because that, that everything you just said is completely misinformed. Because as I can say, there are persons in, in prison with the cell phones that keep Hennessy parties, that dress up, that enjoy their lives, that are on TikTok. Yes? That's, that, that is, I have, I have no words to say how unfair it is that he is being attacked as opposed to other persons. So Cartel is being singled it is, it is, out. It is, the, it is the other way around. And so when we talk about a problem that we need to fix, I will say this respectfully that the problem that we need to fix is proper pay for our DCS officers, for our police officers, for our public sector workers, so that they can feel good about the work that they do, so that they don't need to feel compromised. And to borrow from the words of our prime minister, you get what you pay for. It will never be in my mind. I will never accept that the inmate is to be blamed for a cell phone problem. I rubbish that. Government must fix the prison before they fix their pockets. Can I ask you, when you see Cartel, to ask him why he did those Fox interviews? Um, if he's still in possession of a cell phone, I'll have him call you. P.S. Cartel fans can listen out for a collab with who else? His lawyer. Did you really drop a tune with Cartel? Must say you want to hear it, but I, I don't know. I, I saw me here. Can you give us a, a, a taste of what it would sound like? I know the interest of this one, you know, for ugly people, and I intend to agree. I'm just going to leave it at that. The son of the ugly people. <laughs>